Sure, no, I'll just wait here. I'll just wait here. <laughs> I'll, I'll be fast. Uh huh. I'll just wait here for good old Crane Eyes Johnson. No, I flipped it. Oh, God. <laughs> they are trapped by this system. Uh, this Jesus this is peak theme park. They can't leave. We're all gonna die in here. I'm having a good time. Hey man, have you seen my gun? It's really cool. <laughs> The Impalas glued together. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a lot of Impalas. The Silver Monkey Pendant is hidden in a room. If you can solve four puzzles, I'll let you see it. But you have to watch out for the Temple Guardians because they're high as shit. How did you know my name? Oh, I see. Howdy folks, it's the deputy, and Tex has muted himself because the train's going by. The train went by, and here we are in Landlord's Stupor. Yeah? Which is the worst... <sighs> this country, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this is, this is horrifying. Yeah. The things we have done to England. I mean, we did, we did far worse in many other games, but this is pretty bad. I mean, I know Solid Snake is not a perfect person, right? But I don't think Solid Snake, like, sawed a house in half and then used it to make another half of a house. I don't think he did that. I don't, I don't think that, I don't think that's true. That Solid Snake, you know. It's gonna knock out. I just did some community service. Oh, so that's how you do community service. I guess. All right. <sighs> you just smash a button. Yeah, today's a new day. What a horrible nightmare of the future. <sighs> this is a horrible future nightmare scenario. Because when time you think is about it? it, what time is it? Who cares? It's community service time. That's what it is. It's time for that community service. <sighs> this is horrifying. You know, I'm gonna get right back on welfare after this is done. <laughs> You're like, man, this is exhausting. I need to be on welfare. <sighs> I love how they caught you because you were doing pots and pans, you know? <laughs> Is that what it was, or is it that I did a concrete patio for the guy that runs the labor office? Probably that as well. 
probably that as well. Like the the guy who's like, wait, I sign my I sign checks over to you, and you're like, uh oh. <laughs> You ever think about the fact that Death Wish is mostly a movie about, uh, you know, how to manage high rise construction? I'm not talking about that, no. Like, two thirds of the movie is him trying to get that Arizona building cheaper, and like a third of it is killing, uh, you know, people. I, you know, maybe, maybe it's about that duality of, like, the things you gotta do, you know? Is that you gotta do what you gotta do stuff, right? <sighs> okay, so Wacker says we need a mic volume boost at least two times, possibly three times. Turn the game down, turn techs up, is what they're saying. Hmm. What they're saying is the game is dumb and I'm better. Well, the game is exceptionally loud, even for me. Well, then turn the game down. It'll be alright. It'll be okay. I'm just a little worried. Um, okay, what about that? Yeah, how's that sound, Chad? Because I, I can't hear, but I'm presuming you can. A-E-I-O-U, and sometimes Y. The mighty text voice, much better, they all say. We're constantly adjusting audio volume for different projects, so that's why it's always fucked up when we come in here. It's always fucked up, because what sounds good in recording doesn't sound good elsewhere. And you'll be like, why? And it's like, well, audio settings are dumb. Mm. Audio, as I've said to Mike many times, audio is black magic. It's, it's just... It's it's absolute necromancy. There's no reason for any of it to work, but it does. I've 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 met people who are good at audio. They are wizards. I consider them to be wizards. Like I, I, I think that they are they are people who can intercede with dark powers. If that makes sense. Now what's going on with the roof there? I thought I had that done. I thought I had that done. Mm -hmm. What do you mean you had that done? It's, it's just, what have you done? There's a couple of gaps. There's a couple of gaps. Oh no, those are uh, framing sticking out of the roof for some reason. Ah uh, yes, for some reason. Nothing to do with anything else we've done, surely. I I haven't touched this side of the roof. It was mostly done. I haven't touched this side of the roof. It's doing it That's... on that side too, so we're fine. As long as it matches. I, I hate that this is the logic. As long as it matches. You know, what is your... What does it say when you, like, rent this house? As is, <laughs> don't look around the other side, I know what I got. Yeah, something like that. Oh, shit. The couch disintegrated. Well, it's probably because it's sad. No, it's because I jammed it into the uh, the living room cattywampus. Is that in the game? I think so. If that's my stomach, I apologize. Alright, I need... Uh, what do I need? I was gonna say, like, what have you done to this house? So I knocked half of it over, uh -huh. and it's just kind of in a pile here. Right. Pile of house. So I need As mortar. You do. I wouldn't trust you with any equipment. I'm just saying that, like, if I saw you approaching my hardware store, I would close it. What's the, uh, uh what's the mortar mix? I, you know what? I forget. I absolutely forget. I'm just saying that if you approached my store and I owned a hardware store, I would close it as as just a measure of goodness upon the community. I'd be like, no. Uh-uh. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah, People hurts. are like, Depp, you need an intervention. People are starting to wise up to your building schemes. I don't think it's a scheme. You don't think it's a scheme. I'm Elaborate. just doing what any good slumlord would do. 
what any good slumlord would do. All right. All right, there we go. Um... I'm I'm just saying that I'm alarmed at the state of things in this house. Do I need All right. sand? Do I need sand? Yeah, you probably need sand for concrete. I think it's one sand. No, I don't need concrete. What I need is Oh look. Look, there's some recipes. Recipes, as you were. Create your mortar using a cement mixer. How do I create mortar? Well, you need to figure it out. Ah, oh, there we go. Cement, sand, and water. Yes, I do need sand. You're like, you know what I need? I need sand. What kind of sand? It's four Playground. sand, four gravel, and one dye. <laughs> I don't... Uh, I, I'm not trusting that. That doesn't sound right. Please let me leave. Well, well can, can I go? Can I go now? Hit thank you on the far left. Ah. You're just yelling into the phone. Can I go now? Can I go? <laughs> Let me know. This is this is not right. What Whatever you you're doing right now is chaos. I'm just going to say. Like, just regardless, it's chaos. Come on, you son of a bitch. Oh, here comes that train. Gotta love it. Right. Get out of here. Oh, good Christ. You know what? You're going to live there now. All right. So I've got 15 liters of cement. I think we can probably do, yeah, 25 full bag of sand. And then where's my bucket? I've got a pet truck driver now. You why? What have you done? Well, I unloaded everything, but I did it in right. such a manner that uh he's unhappy because it's blocking his way to leave. Remember remember that time when he was like, Hey, do you want me to unload it? And you said yes, and he just drove off and it was there. Yeah. That cost he, me five he, pounds. He might have more fell magics. Have you thought about that? That he might have more, <laughs> like, fell magics like that that he could just visit upon you? Well, see, I you thought know? I was really clever because I just picked up the uh, gravel. Uh -huh. and I, where's my normal bucket? Did he run it over? Did he run it over? Why are you blaming everything on the guy who just <laughs> showed up? You're like, this guy did this. Well, no, see, if you pick up the gravel and then you just drop it, it falls through the truck. But now it's wrapped around his, uh... Good lord. Drive train. <laughs> good, good lord. Like, what is going on? Where's my bucket? I, I need the bucket to get the water into the mixer, because I can't pour it directly. Where's my bucket and other experiences with deputy? Where is my bucket? <laughs> no, really. Where, where did it go? 
Where is my bucket, Delilah, Delilah? Where is my Did I leave it in Delilah? town? Did you leave your bucket in town? You can write a song about this. <laughs> Almost <laughs> heaven. Lost my bucket. <laughs> Alright, for some reason I can't run, so I guess I'm gonna take the, uh, the bus. People are asking, is the train getting closer to my house, or is the mic extra sensitive? I have no idea. We are getting some background noise from you as well, so I think it's the I mic. figured. Well. Don't mess with anything. They can hear you. I just changed the gain. How's that? Maybe a little better. Maybe a little better? Yeah, hold on. I need to sign up for welfare again. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh. I stole his construction supplies. Oh, did you? <laughs> I thought it was part of my payment. You're like, well, I thought this unattended item was mine. <laughs> okay. Excellent. We're back on, uh, back on our bullshit again. We are back on our bullshit again. I'm going to just start, yeah, as chat pointed out, I'm just going to start doing the recordings on the train. <laughs> there we go. He found my bucket. Ah. Let me set it there. Excellent. Bucket found. Bucket get. What do you got there? A can? Mm-hmm. What are you going to do with it? Recoup some of my costs. Which costs are those, I wonder? I'm sorry, Mr. Horse. I didn't mean that. Why is it why is it sticking to the horse is the question. I don't know. Is the horse magnetic? I don't think that can's magnetic. It looked aluminum. Don't worry about it. I'd like that to take this is... moment to remind all in attendance at this episode of Colcock the Night Stalker. Oh. <laughs> this is... I think your landlord is probably one of the most terrifying beings in existence. You know, because he makes do. You're building a house out of other houses, <laughs> right? Among it's... other things. Among other things, right. I don't get it. Ah, yes, excellent. Detritus. You know, this would be much easier if I could just tip it over the edge of the bridge onto the thing. That would be nice. But they're not going to allow that. The guy who did this game also did a game called Jalopy. Mm -hmm. Which is really interesting. And I think that might be worth a play. I'm still kind of angry that my pristine couch that I found just died to being stuck between two walls. My pristine couch. It did. All right. It was pristine. I was like, score, I got a nice couch. And then uh, every time we loaded the game in, it looked a little worse for wear. And now it was just a pile of fabric. Depp's house is like Voltron. The more you connect together, the better it gets. I don't like that concept. I think that is a terrifying <laughs> concept. I think that you're you're ending up with a house that is made of lies, principally. Right? I just... 
This doesn't make sense to me. You've got this house that is made of other houses, more or less. And scrap, of course. Your scrap house. Yep. All right. I've got a fair day's welfare wages under my belt. I can pick up my bucket and go home. Ah, yes. My fair day of welfare behind me. <laughs> now I can go about my business. Is that your bucket? That is my bucket. All right. So you did leave your bucket in town. I don't know where I left it. I paid the guy at the tool store to find it. <laughs> you paid the guy... It sounds like something a crazy drunk would do. You know, you're just sitting there going like, hey, um, could you find my bucket for me? And he's like, what? And you're like, you heard me. Yeah, I mean. Find my bucket. Guy said, pay me a pound. I'll find your bucket. And he did. He gets results. I mean, I'm not disagreeing with you. Hey, buddy. You still here? Good for you. He's still there. Well, he's paid by the hour. Why wouldn't he be, right? I'm not paying him. So, Welcome uh, back, Lord Grimos. You made a mistake. Indeed you did. I was reminded of a very unique experience in my childhood. Oh, God. All right. Go Which, ahead. I don't know how many of you guys grew up on, in the South or in the Midwest, uh, you know, in the 90s in America, but there was this phenomenon where various groups would uh, go around putting on assemblies at, like, elementary schools, and they each had a different religious bent, but they were all, like, very fundamentalist Christian, right? Yes. I'm familiar with this. Yeah, <laughs> we, yeah. I've got I've got a story about that after this. You go ahead. So the one that I was just reminded of uh, was in 1999. A pair came to my school, and as an adult, like I recognize that they were they were a couple, but as a kid, I didn't get that. They just had that energy, right? Right. And in between a really fire and brimstone sermon about personal responsibility in Jesus, uh, they were singing lines of All Star Smash Mouth, but they changed the lyrics to be religious. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> and it was supposed to be like, oh yeah, these two lines, and then we're going to talk about what those lines mean, because the fact that we changed the, the lyrics didn't, you know, lay it on thick enough for you. And they, they sang right. it probably eight times all the way through. Oh, my God. That's amazing. So I had one uh, come to my school, and it, the, the synopsis was more That's or less not like bad. The, uh, yeah. 450 the, PSI on that mortar when I used a tenth of a bag of cement and a full bag of sand. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, that concrete won't cure in the next decade. Um, so I remember we had one that came by, and the basic uh, story, the gist of it, was that this guy was part of a group of traveling uh, strongmen, okay. for lack of a better term. Like, they, they he had... He had everything but the other members of his group. <laughs> no one else showed up. They all got the wrong address or they had other stuff to do, right? Oh, but no. None of, but none of them showed up. So imagine the Harlem Globetrotters of, like, circus-style strongmen, okay? But it was just one guy. It was, it was one guy. One and he had pictures of the rest of his group, but not his group. And so he was talking about how God made everyone stronger together, but he wasn't, there was no other. But nobody was together. Nobody there. Nobody had showed up. Okay. And so he was talking about all the feats of strength they would do together, but there was nobody else there. And he was by himself talking about teamwork. Oh, no. 
So it confused the shit out of us. Completely. Like, completely confused the shit out of us. We well, yeah, how no could it idea. not? We had no idea what he was getting on about. So he says, I have an idea. Yeah, as chat says, the power of Christ compelled them to do something else that day. Right. So here's where it gets weird. He says, well, I'm going to show you the power of positivity and belief. So he takes out a rubber hot water bottle. Okay. And he puts it up to his lips and he blows on it like a balloon until he's about to pass out. <laughs> and it gets huge. And then it pops. And he's like, that could have killed me if that hadn't gone right. Those are the first words out of his mouth after that. Oh, no. And no one clapped or anything because they were just too weirded out. Like, who does this? Wait, what's that? that? Was, yeah. Why is that brick wonky? I don't know. What'd you do to it? But yeah, he just, he blew up a hot water bottle until it like burst. And then that was it. Like that was his, that was his whole thing. Um, Cause his whole group had, you know, left for some reason to go do other stuff. Ah, that's why. I've got to flatten the mortar with the trowel. You know, I, I don't do, just squish it into place with the brick. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably right. I, it's not the way I've ever laid brick, but okay. How many brick have you laid? I've, I've laid a fair amount. So, how accurate would you say Landlord Super is to the brick laying experience? Um, five out of ten, maybe. So my bricklaying experience is I did it under the supervision of someone who claimed to know what they were doing. Oh, right, got it. Um, and we were helping a guy do brick walls in his house, and he decided that we were taking too long, so he started another team with the other guys on the other side of the wall and we'd just meet in the middle oh um and when we got to the middle we found out that uh we were not laying to the same pattern oh that's that's not so great is it no no it turns out that uh you really want brick walls to match especially if you're gonna do something stupid like start at two different ends yeah i think you would probably want to start on the same end, just because of you know. alcohol was involved. Ah, right. I once helped someone make one of them stone walls, uh, mm -hmm. where you know you. Oh, that you brick use... is a lovely match. Oh my god, that is horrifying. No, I make sure you fill in all the gaps. Uh, how? Well, you gotta. I don't know. Look at it. I guess try to highlight that tiny little area where there's not. I think it's fine. Now I remember doing the uh, the stone wall stuff where you you basically just find stuff that's roughly the same size. Yeah. And if it's not quite the same size, you batch it together. Correct. You make it the same size. All right. So Chad is suggesting we paint it. Why? Why not? Okay. You know what? Yeah, that's all going to get the uh, real thick coat of latex paint. Yeah. How could they tell what you made if you paint it all the same? I probably should have mixed this foundation concrete first. So that I could do this Whoa. brick that I meant to do. This house is a travesty. This is, this house is probably brought up in manuals. You know what? I From... got a solution. Oh, no. I'm just thinking that if you go to a home building manual, this house is in it. I bet. I bet I can just lay brick right there across where the foundation should be. 
Does this have a foundation? Brick. Is, is that a foundation type? Brick. Brick. And it'll all just get painted latex white, so nobody will be able to tell. What kind of brick? Stolen. <laughs> tell me I'm wrong. Call me a liar. No, it's stolen. The best in stolen building materials. No, trowel, trowel, trowel. Ah, well, let me lay it on the, on the dirt. Well, crud. The mortar is still wet after 20 <laughs> years. It's self-repairing. Probably. Can I, can I? Okay. Storage bucket. Can I, can I trowel this into the storage bucket? No, it doesn't appear so. Can I... What are we doing? I'm, I'm trying to get the mortar mix out of my mixer so I can mix the foundation mix. What? Use it. Use the mortar mix. On what? Well, I'm sure there's more brick that needs bricking somewhere. <laughs> I mean, there's this over here, but I can't seem to take this wall out. So, oh my god, I just did. Oh. So you can just throw that to the pile of wall you have in the yard. Ah, oh, your character is so tired from all the hard work they've done. Okay, you know what? I need daylight. You need daylight. I need daylight. This is going well. It's all coming up uh, Millhouse. I hate that you haven't been arrested yet, but there's still time. <laughs> it's memory mortar. Oh, look, my <sighs> mortar mix is getting uh, stronger with the rain. It probably is. <laughs> this just seems wrong on many levels. I wonder if I can just keep adding water to this and make it the eternal mortar mix. Oh, you mean like forever soup stock or? Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, yeah, that sounds insane. <laughs> That's it though. Yeah, don't you need the stakes in the ground? Asks Titus Urbanicus. Oh yeah, if I'm going to do foundation, I do. Yeah, you're presuming there's a plan here. <laughs> um, but I'm not there yet. I've got to use the mortar. doesn't look right. Isn't there supposed to be... <sighs> okay, there we go. Yeah. And then we've this... got a good edge there. We've got a door back here. We got a good edge. You, things you never hear on this old house. <laughs> hey, Bionic, look at this wonderful house we have. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to need to knock this down at some point. Why? What have you done to this house? <laughs> Go ahead and get old trusty Mr. Sledge. Mr. Sledge, Mr. Sledge, na 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 Ain't that better? No, it's not. Gonna have to bust so up some brick here. As Bob Vila comes out and he's like, the first thing you need to do is destroy the existent walls of your home. None of them are structural, we've proved that. No walls are structural. Hey, we've proved that. We have. No walls are structural, and other engineering facts with the Black Pants Legion. No, we, we, that's a proven fact, okay? You can't prove nothing. I 
I hate this. <laughs> Next time on Bob Vila does a swear. Yeah, no shit. So we've we've agreed that uh, if I can get this house to collapse on me, we'll call that the not up to code ending. It's canon, and we'll move on. If you make this house collapse, like. I think that Dev will tune in and go, what is going on? Right. Dev will be like, I didn't put that in the game. <laughs> How did you do that? All right, I'm going to need one of them uh, brick knives here pretty quick. One of them brick knives? Yeah, because I'm going to have to cut these, uh, cut these up. Wilf says, I've had fights in a base in MechWarrior 5 that did less property damage. <laughs> Probably not wrong. You still here, Reggie? <laughs> yeah, keep hanging tight, man. Mother, like, okay. <laughs> I'm holding them hostage. You, you just hold them hostage, like, no, no, I'll be back in a minute. Hold on, I need one more thing. And then you just keep them there. Are you just lonely? Is that the objective? You're just sad? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, that works. So instead of doing the brick here, well, hmm. No, yeah, hmm. Yeah, why would we use good logic or common sense, right? How do I want to fill that gap? Uh, I would say frosted glass. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what we were going to do. We were going to do the frosted glass brick, weren't yeah. we? Yeah. I want to see frosted glass. I want to see that so you can just see the outline of people standing there. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Fuck yeah, frosted grass, glass brick. That sounds cool. It does. It means I'm not going to need any of these, though. Does that sink good? No. It, that is not good. It's <laughs> in the yard. Is that sink good? <laughs> there is. It's like an artifact from RimWorld. You never know. I found a good couch just sitting in a field. Ah, the old field couch. I enjoy my couch that I found in my field. <laughs> now we can we can get to business. I'm gonna need that that tool though. Okay, not to business yet. We've gotta go to town. Yard sink and uh field couch. Hey, the field couch was awesome. More's the pity that it uh, destroyed itself by being jammed Van between Sar two existing walls. Van Sarai G asks, just got here, how goes Meth Manor? <laughs> hey, I don't think Meth's hit, uh, hit the England yet. I wonder what their drug of choice would be at this period of time. In England? In England, yeah, in the early 80s. I don't know, probably heroin? I mean, Mad Cow hasn't happened yet. No. Cocaine? Who has money for cocaine? That's an expensive drug. I'm sure all the, you know, parts down in London can afford it, but I'm a real true <laughs> northern man. Or whatever North. they say. Northman, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like Chippy said. Simple as. Simple as. Yeah. He's huffing paint. <laughs> huffing paint. I can't afford paint yet. I can't afford paint. Yeah, I and gotta confessions. <laughs> I gotta get get more of that welfare money coming in. I gotta get some welfare money so I can afford to huff paint. God bless. The Thames is contaminated with uh, with cocaine still, huh? Ooh, there's something I can scrap. Uh, 
There's something I can scrap. What is that? Oh, it used to be a filing cabinet. Why? Yeah, I was like, what is that? Because I didn't recognize the shape. Lay flat. Thank you. Lay flat, I commanded. Do as I say. We're gonna get so much scrap money for all this stolen brick. Why don't you use it in your house? Because so I, I don't have any other things that need brick. Are you sure? Uh-huh. We're going to use glass bricks for the big wall. Uh-huh. And we're going to use tiny bricks for the the foundation easement. Right? I or, guess. Or whatever the, whatever the little thing's called. Hey, man, I'm just trying to go to town. Leave me be. I'm not judging. <laughs> you sound pretty judgy. You're judgy. How's that? Have that. There you go. Look, hey, just grab... doctor. Thank you. Yeah. Decided to join our crusade, as it were. I should I should lay down pallets more often because this is working really well. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. I guess the pallets are the way to go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, aside from the fuck-ups, that is. Yeah, the fuck-ups are me, not the pallets. Yeah, Look, the that pallets one stayed. Are... Yeah. We'll just anchor it down with some brick. Oh, yeah, right there. I have concerns about that wheelbarrow. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That is our that is our story and our song right now. Don't it, worry about it. The wheelbarrow is fine. Yeah, everything's fine, and you can't prove otherwise. Pay no attention to the man behind the wheelbarrow. <laughs> everything's going to be okay. Hey, do you want to know something really funny? Go ahead. What is it? Uh, it looks like I already bought the brick knife. We don't need to go to town. No. Oh. So we're just here stealing things then. Yeah. For reasons all our own. Alright, if I'm really fast... Nope. It didn't take. Oh. God damn it. I love... All right, so what what was the if I'm really fast? What is the concept here? <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. Right. I just see you running off with things. That's that's it. I have no idea what you're doing. I just know that you're trying to run off with things that don't belong to you. I guess I was in the road. I guess I was in the road. Well, remember when you knocked that guy into, like, another dimension? Yeah, yeah. With a wheelbarrow? I do. And the guy was like, please free me from the dimension in my car? Hey, you know what happens to people that honk? Oh, Rick. God. That's horrifying. Don't kill the man. Don't kill him with brick. His life's hard enough. He lives in England. He lives in his van. He's about to live in the hospital if he keeps that up. We just gotta make it to town with this. My favorite part of Bob Vila's This Old House is when he steals all the building <laughs> materials from other buildings. Remember that episode? <laughs> Can you get one of those vans? No, you cannot. That no person matter. is <laughs> that person's just honking out of spite now. Yeah. 
Wouldn't you? You're stuck behind a guy with Peter and Kyle on a wheelbarrow. I would not fuck with a guy who had quantum stacked things like 12 feet tall. I wouldn't do it's that. A couch like, oh my god. Horrifying. Oh, there we go. He uh, hit me a little bit and passed me. As as you know, that's normal, right? Just somebody running someone over in the street. <laughs> do, do the police confiscate the house? No, they just arrest you. Or sentence you to community service. You're probably going to get sentenced to prison. <laughs> Yeah, that's old house forbidden outtakes. Exactly. <laughs> this old house presents going to jail. Why can I not? Why can I not get up? Am I crouched? No. No, I just really didn't like that for some reason. Okay. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, the pallets just exploded. Oh. I guess that happens, right? It does. It did. It does. Well. It did. It do. No. Let go. This old house. What would the What would the subtitle of this old house be if it was this house? Come on, chat. Tell me. So far, it's steal it, build it, grand larceny, incoherent screaming, this old house, why God, why, this old flat, purgation edition, ye old crack house, former cult house gets a rebirth, drug den edition. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> this old crack house. Renovations old... on a negative budget. <laughs> Let's turn this crack house into a crack home, shall we? <laughs> this old house finishing <laughs> with the Luftwaffe has started. <laughs> oh my god. Tavern or narco fiefdom? Let's find out. Oh boy. Those are nice tires on that truck. They're very knobbly. Probably get good traction. Okay. Now that I know I've got brick knife. Brick knife. It's time to go to bed. Brick knife in bed. The story of a landlord. The slumlord. Oh, right. My bad. Hey, wait. This isn't slumlord super. It should be. It should be. Yeah, See the shit wrong. I'm getting away with? You're you're not wrong. Oh look, more jobs are available. That burned me last time. I'm never doing it again. Yeah, don't don't go get jobs. That's how you lose money. Uh, time is money, and my time is especially my money because I'm getting paid for it. Exactly. Trowel. Yeah, you guys are absolutely right about this uh, particular mortar mix lasting forever. It's a really good mortar mix in that it never dries. Strangest thing, that. Strangest thing. I'm worried about this house. <laughs> like, the people who move in... I'm worried that, like, you know... They're just that... tenants. They're not worth thinking about. Oh. Well, thank you, Mr. Scrooge. God, what a Victorian attitude. If, uh, uh, the surplus lower classes are not worth contemplation. <laughs> just evil. I am, I am channeling landlords of my past. Oh, well, all right. By all means, then. 
Nothing like people who paint over like wall sockets. Oh yeah. <laughs> wall sockets, doorknobs, everything. Oh yeah. Why would you why would you let those work? And almost almost every time it is like really, really high quality early nineteen hundreds turn of the century stuff. Because that's when all of the houses were built out here. Right. Um, how, do I do, how do I do a half? Oh, you have to take a brick out, and then you have to use your brick knife on it. And No, I think it's a brick on the ground. Well, yes, but I mean... There. How, you do I, how do I do the mortar, though? You have to go to your little mortar palette and just one of your buttons, uh, see where it says adjust size. Ow. Wow, that's annoying. Bad UI there. Right. Yeah, no, it'll be fun. Ah, yeah. I, I over I overlaid. I you uh, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. <laughs> I need Mr. Sledgy. Mr. Sledgy. Oh no! I you're right. It'll be fine. They'll just have one extra brick sticking out to trip on. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have such terrible bruises on your ankle? Well, my landlord. Uh... <laughs> it's called the Navy drunk test. The shin kicker. The shin kicker. All right. This is horrifying. I hate, I hate this house. I hate everything you've done to it. We need to send this to the dev. We just need to show the dev what's up. I'm sure he knows what horrors he's created. I'm sure the dev is sitting in the dark watching this, just having a drink. He's oh, just shit. like, what have you done? Oh, really? it's because you made them thin. So, uh, why? Why would that matter? It matters. It matters extremely hard. Why have you broken the game? Don't don't worry about it, chat. Everything's going to be fine. Everything is going to be okay, right? We're good. It's all good. Yeah. Everything's fine. It... We're good in the hood. You know, every time I've heard someone say that, they're lying. Well, they're like, how... oh, it's all good. How would I be lying? I okay. knew a mechanic once who said it was all good, and I said, really? And he said, really? And I started my car, and oil came out the bottom. Well, that sounds like a bad mechanic. What I'm saying is, when you say it's all good, people may not believe you, just based on evidence like their eyes, because they're <laughs> looking at you doing this, right? Yeah. What so they untrustworthy that... am I doing? Well, there was a there was a whole house <laughs> at one point, right? Uh huh. It like there was a roof. It's there a were parts of it. Yeah. Well, okay. There was once a larger footprint house, which has been cannibalized along with many of the things in the fucking <laughs> town. Right. And then it all magically went into one project. Uh huh. What about it? <laughs> You made you made a bunch of concrete with piss. Now when I did this, people got mad. They got really mad when I made a bunch of concrete with piss. They were like, "Oh, Tex, that's crazy. You're crazy. Don't do that." But when you do it, people think it's charming. <laughs> Is it just because it's how I sound? Do I sound like an evil landlord? Is is it the voice? Cuz you're all cheerful when you do it and you get away with it. When I do it, people are like, "Tex is evil." <laughs> I don't know. I think I think it's the way we go about it. I'm clearly, you know, having a good time. <laughs> I was trying to conceal my incompetence with gusto, 
That's the term I use, right? I was yeah. just like, oh, well, this will fix that. It's kind of like when you get a big box of Legos and you realize you built something that's a little too big, but you don't care. Mm -hmm. So you're like, all right, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep building. And then you have to use parts from other Lego sets. Yeah. Everyone now knows not... TIE Fighters were green. <laughs> I don't know that, so... Oh, fair I'm enough. Gonna... Yeah, I'm going to... They were not. Pres... <laughs> they are not, okay. I'm I'm presuming they're not. We'll see. Perhaps. Oh, man. No. Pick that up. Oh, no, it's because they presumed that I had standards. Ah, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, it's, it's mm. pretty clear that I don't. Well, you just from the beginning were like, I can make it better. No, I you said know, I can like... make it cheaper. Ah, that's right. Well, I don't know. I think that there is a certain amount of madness that's expected because while i make you know mr train and mr train's wild adventure and all those things and theme park games you're known for the footlong grilled cheese yeah you know. and war austerity burger war austerity burger and many of the things that are just terrible it is my specialty your specialty is is yes. I am that, I am a broken person, and my playstyle reflects that. <laughs> you're just like, listen here. I'm gonna make some fire, and you're gonna like it. <laughs> Legally a serving, <laughs> and slobbies. I surmise slobbies. Yeah, it's slobbies. By the way, by the way, we are almost done. We are almost done. We were almost done mm -hmm. with the next Traveler episode. Yeah, the almost. editing, we've got up to where we were editing, is the reason why there's been the delay. Yes. We've got we've got almost the next episode, and uh, it's going to be pretty good. It's going to be pretty good. There's a lot of dumb, but that's okay. Dumb is kind of expected, I think. With us? Absolutely. We're not the best people. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to finish it. <laughs> We're not the best people. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, Slepia says, I still like Def in the Magistranum. Are you armed? No. Shame. And then just runs the guy through. They should have been armed. He was in a gunfight. Who doesn't bring a gun to a gunfight? Cowards, that's who. I got no time for him. <laughs> <laughs> got no time trying to confuse me oh man it's too fun and by fun I mean kind of alarming why won't it let me why won't it let me well let me do bricks for the base right there I don't know that's a good question. Maybe you need to get the giant glass bricks? Yeah, I think I think we just have to end our wainscoting right there. Our wainscoting? This is not wainscoting. <laughs> this is a disaster. People are going to walk around this house when they rent it and be like, Oh, Mom, Dad, I finally got a house. And they're like, Oh, take a picture, honey. Show Mom and Dad how you're living now, right? And they're going to find, like, the odd brick that sticks out. It's for stability. Stability brick. <laughs> well, you know, brick walls that are only one layer thick never stand up, right? How do you know this? <laughs> I heard it once. You heard it once? Where? Or did you hear it? From the guy whose like... brick wall I was building. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one you said drank a lot. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he said he I'm knew just... what he was doing, and he sure knew how to drink. Okay. I mean, that's... <laughs> All right. 
I mean, I'm not going to argue. It's pretty good qualifications, right? I think those are reasonable qualifications. Uh, I'm a little alarmed, naturally. Oh, man, I might run out of bricks here. I might have to purchase or find some more. Or I'm, reuse damaged. I'm... Reuse damaged <laughs> bricks. I made a lot of mortar. I thought you were going to admit you made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> I was going to agree with you. I made a lot of mistakes. Yes, I agree. I absolutely agree. I think we probably ought to order them glass bricks. We might have to spend Yay. gasp money. Yeah, I'm not going to find those just laying around in a field. No, not unless like a crack house blow up or somebody's cocaine mansion. This is the 80s. Glass bricks are a premium. Where did all these shingles come from? I don't know. It's almost like someone whipped them around or stole them from a church or, well, you know, but, when you were... But I ran out of shingles. I had to buy some. And now suddenly there's the... a bunch here. I think these are the shingles that were hiding under your pile of crap. And as you slowly work through the pile of crap, you found more of the shingles you had. That doesn't sound right. That sounds exactly <laughs> like what happened. It sounds exactly like what happened. Now these damaged bricks, we need to... Let's see if I order this. Will it just appear on Reggie's truck or do I need to let him go? Let's see what happens. Now it says he's already out making delivery. Is he though? Well, I suppose he's right here. Is he though? He's out making a delivery? He's you've trapped yeah. him there. And I passed out. I really wish I could tell that guy not to put me in my bed. It's creepy. Mr. Dex? Sorry about that. Train ah. just came by and decided to blow my eardrums out. You're good. Uh, you know, you've trapped the man there. You've yeah, just trapped him by there. By surrounding his, uh... You've, yeah, you've trapped, you've surrounded the axle, right? Yeah, the, uh, well, one of them, and the pumpkin, and, uh, you know, right. several other rotatey spinny parts of the, of the vehicle. Look, all of those rotatey spinny parts are necessary for the vehicle to move, and this poor man has been trapped there having to smoke cigarettes instead of work. You've cost him his livelihood. Probably. Not really. He's he's probably got the job. No one else wants to come drive fucking freight for these guys. <laughs> I'm sure nobody else wants to deliver to me. I trap you. It cannot be false imprisonment if it's real imprisonment. That's a fair <laughs> point. That's a fair point. I mean, he's been trapped there for what, days now? Uh-huh. All right, he's leaving now. Have you ever thought about chasing him and seeing where he goes? I'm sure that... I know that that goes back around to town, so I'm sure he just drives to the place. I wonder if I can get a free ride if I hop on the back. I don't think you can. Well, we're about to find out. Are you calling him to see if he can get a ride to town? No, he hasn't made it back yet. <laughs> well, I need to order bricks anyway, right? So you're going to order bricks and then see if you can snag a ride back to town by riding the truck. Uh-huh. All right. If no, I can, you know that's going to be special. How did Deputy break his legs, I wonder? Well. I'm not only getting refreshed to 50% health. Wouldn't have something to do with the lack of food. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot yeah. about that. You forgot about the food, did you? The food you need in your in your body. 
Oh, he's you know, back. The... Oh, he's back. <laughs> he just drove off. Why? What have you done to this game? I don't know. Now... I think you know. I think you know what happened. And I think you know how to stall solve it. This this sounds horrible. We'll see how many times he drives by, I guess. I really need them bricks. I don't need these this... pallets though. So I need I need those bricks to be able to use my mortar since I can't get it out of the mixing bucket to be able to make foundation to be able to uh -huh. make more mortar. And I'll be done with bricking. You'll be done with bricking. Yeah. All right. Until then, let me grab some of these good shingles. And use your ramp that you made? <laughs> yeah. Who uses ladders? Ladders are for losers. Who uses ladders anyways, right? And this looks this looks really really solid. I thought look you were gonna say sus at first, and I was gonna agree. It does look very sus. Oh, look at that! That looks solid. I believe that these uh, these caps with the shadow on them are the ones I stole from the church. Probably yes, <laughs> quite quite probably yes. So I'm you're just gonna trying fix... to figure that out. Well, you're going to need to probably reshingle that whole row and then get them end to end until they all line up. Yeah, I think so. All right. That's my guess. That would be the presumption that I make. Just line them all up again. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be okay. I didn't okay. do these ones. Oh. These ones were already on the house. It sounds like you're not sure. There we go. Okay, you can you can overlay them a little bit. Yeah, you kind of can. But the problem is, is you end up with a gap sooner or later. Sooner or later. Oh, no. Wrong button. Wrong button. Don't want to piss in the roof hole. Oh, of course not. Wouldn't want to do that at all. Beautiful. Except for that. We'll solve this. How are you going to solve it? This is starting to look <laughs> like you keep pulling stuff off and then it gets worse. Nope. Uh, uh, uh. Uh oh. How did Johnny fall off the roof? Well. Does Goat just eternally sing? Does Goat just eternally sing? He's in the background, like, singing as he's making something in the kitchen. Oh, all the time. Okay. Good for him. I wish I had that kind of, like, light still. Yeah, it kind of gets burned out of you, don't it? There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, Goat always sings. Always. Good, good for him. I'm, I'm not being facetious. Like, fucking A, man. Yeah, no, I mean, you could be sitting there and there could be a song on TV and Goat will sing. Like, the whole thing. Good. 
I now that I think about it, I too wish I had that light. Oh, this is gonna let's be a cozy an, little cottage. Let's get an F in chat for our innocence and youth, boys. <laughs> the pistastrophe? No, we're we're everything's going fantastic. <laughs> Everyone's doing an F now. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying. Depp raises a good point. There once was a time when everyone was a bit more innocent, a bit more kind. Yeah, like, there's there's a time when I, you know, whistled when I worked, and that time's past. <laughs> there was a time. There was a time where I, too, was happy. That time has passed. Well, it's not that it's past. It's that as you get older, you get jaded. So the really small, simple stuff doesn't make you as happy. You have to find bigger, grander, crazier stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why people turn to drugs. It's it's because that's that's the easier way to get to the top of that, and then it burns away, and they have to chase that dragon, you know, because it'll never be that good again. Is it worth six dollars to add a third color to my brick collection? I'm upset that you're still playing with bricks, so you do what you do. What color do we go with, chat? Yeah, I was gonna say ask ask chat, not me. <laughs> Ask chat. Chat, what color do we go with? You like the bluish ones, the Scottish bath or the partridge bath? Ah oh, man, this was a bad idea. I forgot everybody's got different favorite colors. All right, I'm back. Sorry. All right. I had to sneeze, and I was about to sneeze right into this condenser mic, so you were about to hear it. I'm seeing a lot of Scottish, so we'll go with Scottish. I hate that Chad is just like, you know what? Let's enable Deputy to make bad decisions. All right, Winston. I'm not sure why I was calling you Reggie. I think that's a different character. Get here with my he bricks. Maybe that's just slang. Like, you call everyone Reggie. You're like, hey, Reggie. What's up, Reggie? You know? No, no, no. I'm not calling you an asshole. I call everyone an asshole. Exactly. It's, 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 it's that slang. It's that English slang, you know? You're like, hey, Reggie. You just hit me with a truck. I'm suing you. Oh, wow. They don't that's sue a lot much of, in England. a lot of bricks. You know what? This is worth my time. Out of the out of the way. I'm out of the way. Oh my god, did I just fuck this up? How? What have you done now? It oh god. This is a lot of brick. Yeah, it is. If you had a pallet jack, you could remove the whole thing at once. But I guess he lives <laughs> that here doesn't for a sound week like again. It. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, these are like porcelain, too. Are they? Damn. Look at how, look at how shiny they are. Yeah, Those are very shiny bricks. Oh, shit. I've got energy again. Yes, let's just remove the middle ones. That's the safe part. I'm playing Jenga with my life. Not wrong. I didn't realize until just now that you could open those big doors. Yeah, I, I thought you knew that and just didn't want to open it because people might get in. You know? No, 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 no. I probably could afford a pallet jack now. And I got like 40 or 50 bucks saved up, or had, before I bought the blue bricks. These these are very beautiful, like, robin's egg blue. Uh, 
I wouldn't know what that is. I know, that's why I'm trying to describe it for you, but I'm not helping. <laughs> what kind of blue is it? It's a very beautiful blue. Thank you, Deb. <laughs> All right. I see is... Robins all the time, so that automatically, you know, connects for me. Big bird watcher. <laughs> I'm sorry. I honestly, I forget, and then I'll say something, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm an asshole. God damn it. I was playing the RoboCop game, and there's a mini game to disarm a bomb, <laughs> and someone's like, red wire, and I'm like, we're, we're going to die. I just sat there. I was like, I'm going to wait. We're all dead. And, yeah, fuck it. I, I was just like, all right. Okay, Wacker wants a brief monologue from you on how you organize construction materials in your yard. Okay, let me let me get all these blue bricks off the uh, off the pallet since they're defying gravity. All right, so uh, over here we got we got the blue brick pile next to the the storage bucket with a lid storage bucket and that's that's next to this hole in the wall which i'm gonna fill in and i'm probably gonna knock random bricks out uh and add some of the blue just throughout for for aesthetic reasons uh here we've got the uh the wooden wall which i've jammed into the floor uh at an angle so that i have a ramp to get up on the roof because the ladder that i bought for 11 pounds is kind of bullshit uh here in the center of the mud pit we've got uh the cinder block pile uh, and it's it's kind of spread out a little bit. It's next to the shovel and the shingle pile. Uh, I've also got some roofing materials, both damaged and undamaged, kind of just spread throughout. I've got some wall frames, interior and exterior, just laying about, ready for me to, to need them. Uh, we get up onto the patio here, and uh, I got more more walls and roof bits. And then... Uh, lonely bag of cement from that first batch that i uh that i purchased and that's a memento for myself actually because you know I, I need to remember where i came from uh back here okay back here is the uh the sand and uh cement pile along with my tv and my refrigerator and a couple of cabinets that are just waiting to go in you know i just need a uh, just need to uh to figure the rest of this out and we'll be good we'll be golden any questions? No, I think <laughs> I think you've you've pretty much nailed it. Um, I oh Nova is here and she said this looks like my house. No, it doesn't, Nova. I cleaned your house and your house isn't that bad. Demps fucked this up more. By the way, Nova, your cheese is on the way. Your cheese is on the way. This house started out twice the size it is now. Nova had us all at her house for the Black Pants Legion meetup. And you know what I did? I sent her a gift of cheese. Your favorite now, gift. Cheese is an excellent gift. I read in a book once that you can fascinate a woman with a piece of cheese. Now, mind you, this book was written in the 1650s. That being said... I didn't really think when I was ordering the cheese and I was slightly sleep deprived and there was a good deal, you know, they were like, are you sure you don't want to add some of this? And I was like, well, Nova's a friend. She could use some more cheese. So she has eight pounds of cheese coming. Now, don't worry, five pounds of it is in a wheel. <laughs> five pounds of cheese is about the size of a spare tire, right? Like the size yeah. of one of the donuts. Notably, um, an easy way to store and move cheese. Exactly. You can you can just drive four bolts through it, put it on that wheel, handled. Wonder how delicate so, these are. Somebody asked, "What should you do That's... with eight pounds of cheese?" Now, let me tell you this much: you can either snack on it throughout the year, or, or. You can make one tray of fucking epic nachos. Yeah. 
You can make nachos so good your doctor will tell you you need to stop eating cheese. I'm just saying. Is that from experience? Yes. Now, I'm going to also say this. I I am not in any way paid to endorse a goddamn thing in this world. I I take no you know, uh paid endorsements. That's not something that I do. But I will tell you this much. I get my cheese from Wisconsin Cheese Mart, and you can buy a five-pound car tire-sized wheel of cheese for like 40-something bucks plus shipping, and it will arrive in, intact and not melted. And it's really good cheese. I, I believe that. They also sell Colby by the log. I didn't know Colby was logged. It is. And their Colby comes from Colby, Wisconsin, hmm. where Colby was invented. See, I've always, I've always been a uh, fan of Colby Jack for sandwiches. It is, yeah. Look, I'm just gonna tell you this. I'm gonna just gonna tell you guys this. If you go into Wisconsin Cheese Mart, you are gonna find that you can buy ass loads of cheese for not much money. The problem is, you are then going to have to explain to your roommates, significant other, or friends why your fridge is full of cheese. At that point, it's time to say for nachos. That will always get you out of this shit. Always. Yeah, yeah, see, Colby Jack is fucking awesome. Colby Jack is kind of the near-optimal cheese because it has the widest application of use. Fuck you. Tell me to take a fucking shower. Wow, that's rude. You're smoking, brother. Why didn't you just blow some on me? <laughs> God. Don't okay. forget the palate, Deb. Oh, never mind. Yes, let's shatter this glass in the yard. Future tenant moves in and ends up with feet <laughs> like John McClane. Why? Oh, shattered glass. Gotta get them Johnny Mac feet. Oh, God. Johnny Mac feet. Oh, if you guys like Gouda, Wisconsin Cheese Mart has a Gouda with bacon. They're out right now because I tried to order some, but that shit is awesome. I'm just going to say it's awesome. It's not good for you. None of our advice, in fact, so far has been good for you, I think. Yeah, we're not really those kinds of people. No. Did I ever tell you I found the store that's made for 80-year-old people? No. No. I found a store that's made for 80 year olds oh, I because, forgot you know, I can't work off the fucking ladder you can but no I found a store for 80 year olds uh, and I, I found it years ago when my grandfather was in a home and I noticed this place like delivered magazines to everyone in the home right and I okay. was like what is this what is this thing and it was an advertisement for a store and it told them how to use the internet like the little handouts was like, he gets your grandchildren to show you how the internet works and then come on down to our country store online. And their website is called the Vermont Country Store. And all they do is sell a bunch of old shit like hard candy and shampoo and shit from like the 60s and 70s. They're like, oh, you thought that lemon up shampoo went out of manufacturing in the 80s. We brought it back. Oh, God. It's all just it's 70s, 80s, 60s shit. It, it's, you know, how Graham Graham would have the giant bowl of candy that all melted together. The yeah. hard candy. Yeah, they sell shit like that. 
the Vermont country store. You can go on there and they're like, you want maple syrup or bread in a can? We make it. Yeah, no, close, close the drawer. There we go. <laughs> Is that dresser construction rated? <laughs> No, but the fucking ladder won't let me work while I'm halfway up it. How did you break your leg? Well, I was trying to work off a ladder, see? God, the fucking ladder just... will break your leg. It will. No, the hard candy isn't pre-melted. You're just going to have to leave it out and let it get atmospheric melty on its own. Yeah. Yeah. This is a horrifying building project. How are you going to fill in the top of that? Uh, probably with porcelain brick. <laughs> oh my god. Just somebody standing there with flies flying around them. Spray foam? No, Nova. <laughs> we're not going to fill in gaps with spray foam. That's too real. Yeah, it won't let me. God, I wish I could. It would make this simple. But see, Nova, I've got this very beautiful blue, uh, like, porcelain brick here. Uh, and it goes so well with my black brick and my green, my red brick. Grig like make real wall. Somebody said I should make a what would Grig like do bracelet. Oh, yeah. So it have to be made out of rocks. <laughs> WWGD? What would Grig like do? Grig like charge. That is, uh, it has been fun going through and listening to that again, and especially listening to people's, or reading people's comments about it. Yeah, a lot of people were just like, oh my god, these people are all going to die. Like, a lot of people are like, these guys are idiots. And no one in that party really knew anything about 40K. Uh, no. Not one person, which is exactly the way it should be. You know, you shouldn't need to learn 800,000 pieces of lore to enjoy something. The Magistrata Mundanus, the worst cops of the Imperium. I'm going to need another cabinet. <laughs> An archic doctor says, seriously, Delta Squad building a house. I can see Ricky trying to use a nail gun like an actual gun and somehow succeeding. <laughs> oh, Han, I don't hate 40K. I just hate Games Workshop and the shit they do. That and some of the lore is pretty dumb. It's rule of cool. It doesn't need to make sense, but I just kind of shrug. Then again, I also like a lot of things. I like Traveler. I like Delta Green. I like 40K, some of it. I like a lot of Star Trek. I will compare everything to Star Trek, but I think that's because Star Trek is kind of at the genesis of so many things. Like, you can literally walk up to a stranger and say, Timba, arms wide, and they were like, Shaka, when the walls fell, and it it's a connection. The only thing that I really bo am bothered about had is when everybody compares everything to 40K. Like, you could be sitting there talking about Cervantes' Don Quixote and about what it's like to be counted as out of time and useless and that human restlessness of the soul. And someone will be like, oh, it's like the Ultramarines. And you're like, wow, read, read anything else, please. Like, that's where it gets annoying. But there's always, um, what's the term I heard used recently? Buttermilk Bob. <laughs> when you compare everything to 40K, that's when it gets tiresome. Some things are their own thing. Some things are their own thing. Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra. Exactly. Darmok and Jalad on the ocean. Favorite Star Trek movie, uh, two and six. Two and six. You 
ever wonder why Harry Kim didn't just use the uh Sorry, I've I've been on a Voyager kick. Um why are you, you hate Voyager? I do. I love to hate it. I really do. You do. <laughs> Captain Kill 'em all Janeway. <laughs> There's coffee in that nebula. I will kill every butterfly in the Delta Quadrant. <laughs> if it means getting my people home. And then Mike in has... the very next in the very next episode, I will lose every single person under my command to keep this aloe vera from being, you know, displeased Mike, in any way. Mike says it better. Um, Mike has a better way of phrasing it. And it's really funny. He goes, I have, <laughs> I'll kill everyone on board if you try to take my pee pee poo poo, you know, <laughs> and it's, it just fits. It's because Janeway's insane. I think I think most of it is just they had different writers. Of course, it's different writers in different seasons, and nobody knows what to do with most of the characters. And Kate Mulgrew's a great actress. She yeah, does it's a not her fault. Good, she's a great actress. She does a good job. Everyone reads what they're given, right? Yeah. Everyone is doing their best. You see people out there really trying, but the dialogue is just so who gives a shit. It's really awful. And then when they made the transition to like UPN, you know, and there was just no money, it's like, oh. Can I mix okay. more things into this mortar and turn it into cement? Please don't do that. Because I'm, I'm only halfway through this bucket and I'm out of things to brick. Mr. Tuvix, time to die. T Tuvix was an interesting episode because um, Goat and I are doing what I like to call the cycle, okay? And the cycle is where you watch everything. Uh, you, you, watch, you watch Star Trek from the beginning. The original series, Star Trek continues if you want. The original series movies, TNG, DS9, you see how far you can make it through Voyager before you decide to go watch, um, you know, Enterprise. And then you see how long you can make it through that. So Goat and I, Goat has never done the cycle. He's never watched all of it. And he appreciated a lot of the original series. He appreciated a lot of, you know, TNG and DS9 because he goes, oh, that's where that meme comes from. Oh, that's where that trope comes from. Oh, that's where all these things come from because it is the genesis of so many pieces of sci-fi, lore, art, everything. It is the absolute genesis of it. But we're getting through Voyager, which is got An its problems. It's yeah, it's it's got its problems. And and there's a lot in Voyager where Goat will just start yelling out alternative endings that are better than uh -huh. what's on screen. And that's the thing is by the time you've watched all that, you can do that. You can go, here's what I would write for this. And Voyager does have good episodes. Um, Year Where's of Hell 1 and 2. Year of Hell 1 and 2. Equinox 1 and 2. Great episodes. So anyways, we're watching Tuvix, the Tuvix episode. And Goat's like, I don't get it. And I said, I'll tell you at the end. We get to the end. Goat turns to me and I go trolley problem. And he goes, what? And I said, kill one person to save two people. Trolley problem. And he's like, oh, my God, it is. And I'm like, yes, the Voyager episodes are that simple. Because everything resolves inside of 45 minutes. You know that at the end of the episode, they're going to go on and everything's going to be fine, no matter what. So you don't get involved or invested in anything. Yeah. You just know that, oh, by the end of the episode, it's going to reset unless it's a two-parter. And then who cares? He just drove by again. What? Is this guy just waiting to fuck you up? Like, is he waiting until you go home in your house and then he's going to ram it? Yeah, I did it. I made I made concrete out of mortar. Good job. And for the record, Had, I, I'm not going to universally praise Battletech. I'm not a fan of the Jihad. 
I am not a fan of the Dark Ages. And I know why. Uh, just in the same sense, I'm not a huge fan of all the 40K lore. Uh, there's huge parts of 40K that I'm just like, that's really bad writing. Same with Battletech. Not a, not a huge fan of it. And I think that's the problem that happens universally when you have something that lasts decades. You have this really crazy issue of writers having to come in and move things forward <laughs> in the lore. And they're like, all right, you have X amount of weeks to crank out all of this new stuff. And it really contrasts. So it's kind of like eras of any art. You have some that you love and some that you don't. <laughs> But it's all pulpy. It just depends uh -oh. on what kind of pulp you like. What? Uh-oh. Whoa! Please pay the following amount. I'm gonna ignore that. Well, I know, Had. We've always been fair back and forth. I'm just adding context for all the other people here who are about to weigh in and roll up their sleeves and be like, why I ought to, you know, and show their, their nerd muscles. It's okay. I thought the I was given thing, this house. You're telling me I get a mortgage for it? You have a mortgage on the house. You No one just gives you anything. Are you going to literally do the meme of, what do you mean, this costs money? <laughs> What do you mean things cost money? Well, but... Uh, okay. Where the fuck is my sledgehammer? Uh, I don't know. You're probably gonna have to pay the guy in town to find it for you. He's gonna have to get his dowsing rod out. Is it under the pile of glass? No? <laughs> it's not free real estate. <laughs> Oh, my God. But, yeah, when it comes to fandoms, like, the one that I think got it the roughest is is Star Wars. I think Star Wars got it really rough. Star Wars, Star Wars has one of those things where they have some really good shit that everyone loves. Like, the Old Republic era, like Knights of the Old Republic, people love that era of Star Wars. And they're like, my God, this is so cool. And then there's Disney Star Wars, prequel Star Wars, the expanded universe or Legends Star Wars. Yeah. And it's all completely different. And so you have people who are like, oh, it's all the same. And then there's people who are like, no, this is best, that is worst. And it just goes on and on and on. I mean, they made the entire extended universe pretty much gone, and then they've started pulling parts from it. Haven't they? Yeah, they're they're pulling bits and bobs. Because they're just seeing like, oh, well, this book series was written in the 90s, and it's okay, and this one we don't like, and this one doesn't fit. I mean, I remember there was a whole subset of stuff where, like, like Han and Leia had a whole bunch of kids and they were all force sensitive and that like Luke ran this huge classroom for Jedi mm -hmm. and and there was this whole extended universe that went on for like 150 years like it was really really expanded and then they were like yeah fuck it So Halzakar says, Toxic Star Wars fan story. I know a guy who's making an entire Boba Fett costume out of Perler beads. Crazy impressive work, and Star Wars fan groups started giving him pure hell about it. But why? That sounds cool. That does sound pretty cool. I saw a guy do a Boba Fett with uh, pit vipers for the visor, and he was Broba Fett. That's, see, that's, that's clever. That's awesome. Yeah, and the rest of the armor was made out of Bud Light, like cans, you know, like, hell yeah, brother, you know, and he had, like, NASCAR logos on it. It was hilarious. I think it's just annoying when a fan base is like, how dare you have fun? Like, how dare you? 
How long do I have to wait for that to set up? Fork, 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 fork. Remember, guys, somehow Palpatine returned. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. How do I fix he, this he, cracked concrete? Can I do a skin How do you fix this cracked concrete? I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't have smashed it with a b hammer. You were just smashing things. And I was like, why are you doing that? And you were just like, it's time to smash stuff. I had to, I had to try to figure out how to take the walls down. Tear the down floor. the walls of these establishments, right? Right. You just had to have your punk moment, right? Mm-hmm. You're like, it's all walls all the way down. It was. Sitting there cranking Pink Floyd. Hello. Another brick in the wall. <laughs> Dude, that's a that's a really good glass wall right there. That was a good suggestion. Thank you. So here's a good one. Here's a good one. You want to talk I wonder about... if I can. I want to. What I can you, do. You want to. You want to talk about controversy? I got a good one for you. Okay. I yeah. Got a good one for you. Best Pink Floyd song. One song. One not an album song. Oh God. Um. I'm going to have to go with uh, Brick in the Wall, yeah. It's part two. All right. Mine, Fearless. Fearless? Yes. That's a solid choice. Uh, there we go. Fuck. Somebody just honked. Did they? Go home! Go home so I can order more things! He's just stalking me now. I think I broke the game. No, you didn't. You set the man in motion. You know what that means? That means it's time to eat food so I can run to town. Yeah, Depp, do you owe him money? Not him. You owe you owe somebody money. I owe the mortgage company. They'll do what they will with me. I can't do anything about that. Can you sell houses in this game? Oh, dude, this field is just full of fun shots. This, good lord. Is that sink good? No. Is that sink good? Please, oh my god. You're just like, well. The promised land. It really is, man. Look at all this stuff. So do you think, yeah, Point Man Frosty points out he's paying you back for keeping him trapped. Probably. Yeah. That makes sense to me. Makes sense to me, too. That's why I'm angry. No, just, just go in the wheelbarrow. Thank you. God, there's all sorts of sinks over here. Oh, is that a good that's a good oven oh no oh yes please get out of my wheelbarrow this is horrifying I told you you find good stuff occasionally Mr. Tex you didn't believe me nobody believed me that's a solid pallet. I'm looking. I'm looking for one of those good ground sinks, though. So. Ah, yes, a good old ground sink. All I'm finding are bad ground sinks. As as you know, the good ground sinks are something completely different, right? They, they are. There we go. Look at that cooker. Oh yeah, we're cooking with gas now. Probably I literally. Just... I, you know, wild ovens are harder to tame. Be careful, Deb. 
Let me, uh, where's my shovel at? I need a field oven. One fifty. Yeah. Oh, I broke it. You broke it? Yeah, broke it. Oh, God. I broke the broken sink. You just gotta start. You can't have nice things. I can't. No, sir, no way. Is there anything cool in the pond? Please don't. Please. That doesn't like Please. me going in there. Stay away from the terrible <laughs> place. Whose caravan is this? Child's glove. A child's glove and many other things. Ah, that's Kansas water. Don't touch, says Chad. <laughs> well, you know, that's that's a good. Uh, what is that then? Mangled lead pipe. Mangled. You're just, yeah. What mangled it is the question. Can I unmangle it? Well, what are you gonna do? Like bend it straight? Or maybe I don't know. I'm just I'm asking about options, man. Lay off. I'm not. I'm not judging. It I'm just pretty curious. Judgy. I am fairly judgy. I'm sorry. Oh, keep, God. I keep hearing the occasional, like, word said. And I uh -huh. assume it's people driving by in the game. But it's a little disconcerting. My character may be hearing voices. It could be. I hear that beeping in the distance. Like, constantly. Yeah, somebody doesn't like something that's going on. You hear that? I do. It's just beep beep constantly. Oh God! There goes Winston again. There goes Winston again. What were you calling him earlier, Reginald? Reggie. You're like there goes Reginald. Yeah, there goes old Reggie. Did I get them all? Oh, yes, I did. I got three in the stack. That is unhealthy. Why? Because that's, that's 15 euros, man. Oh, that's probably why he's driving by. Somebody's blocking the road with something. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> what has happened? They hit oh. the brick I left in the road. You bricked that car? Is that what that is? Oops. Oh, my. You Why? You've broken reality again. Why? Park City, Kansas. Now there's a place you don't ever really want to be. I will I will sort that after I scrap this. I got 15 pounds right here. I can't wait. I need to go back for my, uh, my shovel, though. I'm so glad you said it was for scrapping. I thought you were going to build walls out of busted filing cabinets. You just mortar them and lay them down, right? <laughs> 16 tons, what do you get? This house made out of lies and scrap. <laughs> 
what are we missing from the house? You need no fines to fill the walls out. You need a door. Yep. You need windows. You're going to need a way to fill in. You're probably going to need sheetrock, right? Uh-huh. That's, no. You're probably well, going to need... It, what do you mean, no, <laughs> maybe? I don't know. Like bare, bare rock, bare, bare stones. If, if it'll let me, I'll do it. But take advantage of the scrap fairy dropping this stuff right outside. Plain log walls can be nice if it's stuff like cedar. <laughs> Alright, now since Winston is indisposed, I'm going to have to go to the construction store and just buy it myself. Which what was I here for? What were you here for? Winston, what are you good for? Driving around the neighborhood. Say it again. I remember that one time you bonked that guy into the wall and he honked for like, what, a week? Yeah, until we reloaded the game. That was horrifying. I had one time where Winston was stuck out in front of my building and all I could see was the glint of his cigarette <laughs> as he idled his truck and honked every four seconds. Nice. Horrifying. Plasterboard. Paint plasterboard with ease. So what are you what are you doing here? I'm just a little alarmed. You know. canvas white now we're gonna we're gonna go with the uh, habitats for humanity free paint beige yeah there we go yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we're good we're good everything is golden This is not golden. This is the opposite of good in almost every way you can measure it. No, no, we're doing good. No, Are you no, getting the brick that's <laughs> stopping traffic? Yes, I'm going to go get the brick that's stopping traffic. Yeah, you got to go pick that up because you're some sort of wizard and you put a, a spell on that brick. The brick of stopping. Oh shit, there's another four pounds just sitting by the side of the road. Oh my god, this, this game has turned you into a goblin. Oh, I see. They, uh... <laughs> Deputy confuses the English with placement of stones in the road. I thought they drove on the left. I don't even know. They follow Mary Poppins' rules. I put a spell on you because brick, you shall not... Imagine if Gandalf did that. You shall not pass. Jesus wow. Christ. Well, they drive on the on the left when they're in the corner. Good God. You shall not pass. And then he just puts a brick down. <laughs> and the just Balrog... touched down a single cinder block. Yeah, a cinder block. And the Balrog can't go across it. Gotta go pick my shovel back up. I uh, just gotta go harvest the land meat. Oh, my shovel's over here. I, I left it over here. There it is. Shovel, shovel, shovel. The blue gentleman says, I want to see Depp's version of Gandalf in a tabletop role-playing game. Okay, Depp, if you were playing Gandalf, would you just... <laughs> oh, God. Just, like, you shall not pass. I don't, don't, I don't do know. It. Yeah. Sir, sir, please. It's a lot of paperwork if you pass through here. I can't allow that. I'm asking you not to. Instead of you, you shall not pass. It's I'm asking you not to. I asked nicely. 
Oh, it's snowing. And wow. Smoking? No, it's it's this is just soot from the factory. <laughs> Wait, what day is it? Is that Chernobyl fallout? Oh no. Well, let's just say property values have gotten complex, right? Jimmy says calm down, don't do it. I just noticed that's written in my notebook. Well, Jimmy wouldn't lie to you. Jimmy seems like an okay guy. He wouldn't lie to me except all the times he did. Craigy Crago says, well, yes, we drive on the left side of the road. Okay. Well, those guys weren't. This is rural England. He also could have been just piss-ass drunk. Uh, also true. That's a, Look that's at a that. hobby. Beautiful. That's a hobby for some, Deb. Look at that interface. Look at that. That is... I, I, I can't believe that works. Mr. Train also can't believe that works. Well, I bet I can just fill this up with bricks the entire way. I hope not. Gesundheit. It's bricks all the way down, isn't it? It's bricks all the way down. No, I cannot. Okay. So I need to uh, dispose of the rest of this concrete then. Has that set up yet? Can I? It's weak concrete. It says it's weak. Oh, wait. Get your <laughs> shovel out. I think you have to bonk it to flatten it. I don't think that's true. I think you're lying to me. I'm not lying to you. I gotta bonk it to flatten it? I think so. Sounds made up. I think that's that's something I remember. It's right it's right button for smash. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of the dirt. There we go. There you go. Nice big lump of dirt in the corner. Does not appear to be doing much. Well, maybe it's already set up. I don't know. There you go. Just beat them lumps <laughs> in your yard down. Deputy Smash! The shovel right there. Yeah, okay. We're, uh, we're gonna go bed now. Gonna go bed now? Gonna go bed now. Morning concrete? <sighs> There we go. It's my eight bucks from the uh, from the government for being too damaged to work. Yeah, I remember the last time you were too damaged to work. Then you worked for the government, and they were like, "Aren't you disabled? You 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 did that cough with smoke coming out." <laughs> yeah, something like that. Got to beat your crete. Your crete needs a beating. No. Come on. Put her there. All right. Just put them bricks anywhere. Who gives a shit? That would be the name of our uh, home reno show. Who gives a shit with Deb? That would. That would. Who gives a shit? Ah, oh, look at that. Who gives a shit? That's the that's the phrase they use. House improvements. Why? No, I got I got two damaged bricks there, so I'm gonna have to knock them out with the sledgehammer. I know. <laughs> home implodement that's the other <laughs> name that's a good name i got a i got a good one that'll do that'll do that'll do at first i thought you concreted your yard and then i realized that snow yeah you should concrete your yard and then paint it paint I'm, it like grass green i'm probably going to concrete it because uh i am uh running out of things to do with this here concrete well, I had extra concrete, so I figured, why not paint the yard? Mm 
Boom, look at that, beautiful. Oh yeah, and all 97 PSI that this weak concrete will support because it's pregnant. 97 PSI? Someone could move a chair across that and it would break. Yeah. <laughs> it turns out that if, uh... hold on, what do I got in here? I've got 9 liters of cement, 11 liters of aggregate, 15 liters of sand, and 119 liters of water. She better stir it again. It's like pancake batter. <laughs> You're not wrong. Sorry, pancake batter is desirable. At least people look forward to it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I may do the eternal concrete with this one. The eternal concrete. Yep. Just keep it going, right? That's concrete, baby. That's concrete, baby. I love that meme. I don't know why. Probably because it makes Colberto mad. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like it. Oh, all right. No, his name is Reggie. Then who who are we calling? We keep changing we, names. We call here. Reggie, and Winston shows up. But I can't oh. place an order with Reggie if Winston's already on a delivery, because I guess he has no pens to write it down. Who's on first? <laughs> Who? What? I don't know. Neither do I. I'm confused most of the time. All right, so I think we can start getting rid of some of this stuff just in the yard. Just some of the stuff. What are you going to get rid of? That's my question. Well, like, that what rock? are you getting rid of? There's a rock, right? There's a bunch of these. Are you just throwing that over the wall? All right. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Guess I don't need that one. This is horrifying. <laughs> oh, God. People drive by your house and it's just a disaster. They're like, why is all this shit in the yard? Like someone, like a school bus loses its tires and axle from running over detritus. You come out with flies around you in a cloud. Yeah. <laughs> in the snow, it's actively snowing on me. And yet I am so disgusting. The only living insects in this country. Uh are surrounding me. I'm really alarmed that your person is allowed to roam free. Fuck you. Nope, I can't hop on the I can't hop on the bed. Not one of those went in here. I need to I need to grab that back. Yep. That's important. Gonna need that later. Oh, they're fast in heels, man. You gotta be careful. Type of shit post based about Hala. An absurdist comedy club where all great shit posters exist. Where nothing is serious. Where irony is the only language we speak. We go out into the world and we come back with new and greater extremities to sh dragging them in like a fresh kill so that we show them to other shit posters. And at the end of each day, the material is wiped clean and anew. The world is remade in new and more absurd ways. And the only way we can cope with it is through greater acts of shit posting. And this shall be our eternity. There might even be a feast of beans. Terrible mac and cheese, pizza abominations, a fucking carbonated sodas made of spaghetti. You have no idea. This could be ours. This could be our fate, and you are but one step from realizing this opportunity for yourself. I'm so proud. Cancer house. All right, we're back to the cancer house. 
The Cancer House from the makers of Good God Why. Good God Why. So this one actually made it over the house. It made it over the house and yeah. out the other side. Wow. So I, I really chucked that one and sent it like a spear, like a javelin. that damage why is there no snow on that i don't know don't fuck with it just don't don't do it the question is why are the flies still alive yeah see that's what i was asking when you, know, you stank so much you know you know how i can beat this though smoking now now cigarettes are expensive you know what i get free what non-potable water you're just going to splash yourself with it and be like, I win. This is just not right. There we also, go. Also, where's this water coming Boom. from that yeah. is not freezing? Look at that. Hygiene 100. Oh, my God. And we'll just add that into our weak concrete mix. Yeah. Don't waste that water now. And we'll, we'll put the bucket on standby until it's needed again. Go I ahead and this. mix this again. I hate this. I hate this so much. What do we got? We got weak concrete. Oh, that concrete wouldn't hold up a coaster. Well, we're going to see. Oh, excuse me. I've got to clear my path. Everybody knows the best time to set concrete up is in an actual snowstorm. Yeah, that's true. That's what you want. You want that snowstorm concrete. It is indeed concrete. As concrete, baby. All right. I need a stake. Yeah, right there. No. We call it Canadian concrete. Beautiful. Yupacrete <laughs> works best when frozen. Okay, here's the question. Here's the question. How weak is this concrete? Uh, it's pretty fucking weak. 380 PSI is what it shows in the bucket. That's not good. That's What's not that good. Shit? Here, use the use that shovel to flatten it. Yeah, I gotta I gotta put the bucket back first. So. Oh, of course, put the bucket back. Wouldn't want anything to happen to that. You care more about the bucket than the concrete. Yes, I do. It's stronger know? than the 97 Crete. <laughs> Why? All right. How much do I have left? I got Come on 51 down to liters. Big old pile of building supplies. <laughs> I got whatever you need somewhere. Yeah. So two fat uncles could buckle that walkway. Yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, they'd just stand on it and it would bend. Well, Actually, you, we're making transverse it worse. Loading, transverse loading does not work well on concrete, so I think it would just snap like a cracker. <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to be like an MRE cracker. Regret crate. I regret nothing. That's the problem. <laughs> I don't have to live here. It's not my problem. I don't have to live here. That's that's the name of the show. That's the name of the show. I don't have to live here. <laughs> that is the name of the TV show. 
What happened to this house? I don't have to live here. <laughs> Music starts. Okay. You know? I just hate that when the person moves in, the concrete will break, and then you'll charge them their rent. You'll be like, oh, that's your safety deposit. You broke my concrete. <laughs> I never once got a safety deposit back. Fuck them. <laughs> that's fair. I once lived in a place, and they tried to take my safety deposit. Uh, and and <laughs> I, I countered it with the most unfair of tactics. And you know what it was? Pictures. I broke I it. Take... Oh, God, what? <laughs> what does that rating mean? Exclamation point to 315 PSI. Exclamation point. Did you, like, roll it over? <laughs> What have you done? <laughs> People are clapping now. <laughs> what what have you done? I don't know what I've done, but we're going to pour it. <laughs> All right, time to pour it. I got I got a bucket full of this baby. We're going to pour this shit. I don't live here. The show. <laughs> yeah, the uh, when Tex is talking about me just dying laughing silently, that's what's happening to me. Uh, and his mic just doesn't pick it up. So if he's not hosting, nobody ever knows. That's the horrifying <laughs> thing. It's like Far Cry 5 with a cop. People are like, wow, Depp never laughs at your jokes or humor. Depp's not a psychopath. It's just Depp's mic won't pick it up on his end. So I'll say something funny or make an observation. Depp will be giggling and it will never hear it. So it just sounds like <laughs> stone cold killer silence. <laughs> and so that always freaked me out because I'd be sitting there listening on the recording back and you hear nothing. It'll be like, I make a funny observation. Dead ass quiet. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go to sleep and let let whatever happens happens there. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, the <laughs> house. <laughs> yeah, time for a pint then. Uh, beer time costs money. I don't have money. <laughs> beer costs money. I'm crippled. I can't afford that. Uh, exclamation point! All right, you're gonna you're gonna tell me about the concrete? Nope, it does support me though, so we're good. Time to pour another one. You didn't go one. through it, and your feet your feet prints are not in it. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's the description. It's exclamation point. Hashtag exclamation point pound sign to 201.6 PSI. What is that? <laughs> the Someone snow is the low dev. bearing. I think we found a bug. Yeah, I think we found a bottom. You found the bottom of concrete. It's not. It just rolled over. How much, how much is in oh. here? Iron Phoenix says, I think that's negative 201. <laughs> So that shit should be floating? Oh, Is that just... Time to make oh, more. Yeah. Oh my god, no. I've got more walkway to run. Someone email the dev and send that clip to him and just be like, these guys shouldn't be allowed to play your game. <laughs> so we've got a half of a liter of concrete left in there. Well, concrete's being very generous. That's not what that is. So that's that's a quarter gallon of cement. We've got a half gallon of aggregate, a half gallon of sand, and 
30 gallons some of water. Some baking powder, <laughs> some cookies, stuff you found in the yard, four crushed sinks, the hopes and dreams of a nation. All right. Time to mix it all up. All right, what do we got? Negative 507 PSI. I believe that is a negative because that number is going up now. Why? Why are we doing this? <laughs> I'm alarmed. I'm right. slightly alarmed. Time like, to how? It. No. People will live here. Mm -hmm. They'll fall through the earth and then you'll never get your money. No, I'm selling this place. No, I'm not renting it. You're just going to be like, it looks like a house. This is turned into the world's worst house flipping game. Take my house, please. Yeah, I, I believe that I am in the negatives. This ain't right. I am pouring just literal muddy water on the ground into this form. It's a house-shaped object. Yeah, negative 324. Hours until dry, 11. All right, time to pour more concrete. <laughs> this walkway is getting done, Tex. I may do the whole fucking yard. I don't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> Depth crate is measured in irrational numbers. I hate this. Now, I can only say one thing more disturbing than that. Would you Would you like to hear it? Yeah, please. All right. So, the song Country Roads, right? Yeah. <clears throat> it, they Now, what, what landmarks does he mention? Uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains. Uh-huh. And the Shenandoah River. Okay, chat, would you like to Google where those are? I've been in that part of Virginia, so I will I will abstain. Uh, yeah, well, that's the thing. <laughs> He's not talking about West Virginia, the state. He's talking about Western Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy this fact. You're welcome. <clears throat> All right, so it now says there's zero liters of cement aggregate or sand in there. So I don't know You're if we... Correct. I don't know if we've just poured all of it out now or if it has hit numbers so small it's less than a liter on each. I think that you've broken the game and it's crying for help and the only way so it knows we're gonna, how. So we're going to mix this and see if I get concrete or just water. Are you seeing how far you can go with minimal everything? Yeah. It's concrete. <laughs> What is this? What is the number? <laughs> it's negative 589 PSI. There's negative. There's no liters of cement, no liters of aggregate, no liters of sand, 170 liters of water. It's weak concrete. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. You're laughing like the Joker now. You're like, what is concrete but not concrete, Batman, as you pour this shit? <laughs> That's so dumb. Make more. This concrete's gonna melt. What is this? Why oh, so <laughs> slurious? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh god. Why so slurious? <laughs> oh. That is awful. This is horrible. <laughs> you could crack this concrete by looking at it. Yeah. Yes, I could. I need 32 liters. How many do I have in here? There we go. 
How much concrete do I have? This is chunky. This is chunky water. This is not. It's concrete. not even chunky. It's just water. I don't. I don't like what we've done to this place. You. You've made half a house. Okay, and I poured the rest out on the ground. It made no mound because I think the game has realized now that it is all just water. Nova, it's not concrete. It's negative psi. It it would oh, repel no. you. Oh no! There we go. It wouldn't let me drop it for a second. Okay, I gotta I gotta give it a slap. No, maybe wrong tool. The, maybe that's the dev's hard coded thing trying to stop you. It's like, please stop whatever you're doing to this fucking house. <laughs> Don't hit it too hard; it'll turn to dust. <laughs> Okay, so we start with their weak concrete. Right. Which it should tell me if I look at it hard enough. Come you gotta on. squint your eyes extra hard. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Do I have to have a tool in my hand? Maybe. Yes. Okay, so their weak concrete is 2100 PSI. That's what they consider weak yep. which is fairly weak as concrete goes yeah that's that's for the majority of the house for the living room they had 1800 psi and then 800 right. psi right here and then 1800 i think this was a repair and then i poured 100 psi weak concrete that's to sand. fill in the gap which is that's yeah, sand castle <laughs> that's sand and then 245 PSI concrete for the first slab. Right. And then negative 201 PSI for the second. Negative 324 for the third. Negative 376. And negative 94. Interesting. I hate, I, I hate what you've made. Yeah, those will set up and I'll have a walkway. Look at this. This looks almost like a fucking house. And now I can put this, some no finds in here? How do I make like no a finds? House. Well, you can check your manual or you can just keep doing what you're doing. Aggregate and cement. Cool. Now, I'm going to say this much. Um, these look like houses you see for sale right now. Yeah, except yeah. it'd be like $400,000, 300 square feet. House with one I full wall, four hundred thousand dollars. Aggregate, aggregate. That's what it said, right? Was aggregate? Yeah, I believe so. Let's let's double check because I don't want to fuck it up. Yeah, aggregate. Because if I wind up with mortar again, brother, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But make some more concrete out of it. Bring your own walls. So Load1 says, listen to the most recent episode of the BPL podcast and have an mm -hmm. idea as to why Canadians at BPL Con called Whataburger mid. All right, please do. I'm not offended. I'm not one of those persons who's going to go to war over a burger because there's one burger point where I, one place I would say has burgers that are worth fighting for and it's in Detroit. One, just one. Front door. Yeah, that was in the podcast like five times. People kept coming in and out. And we were like, do you want to join? Do you want a microphone? And they just walked out. <laughs> Front door. I almost <laughs> wanted Mike to cut all those front doors out and then have them be a uh, have them be a chorus at the end. You know, put them up on thirds and fifths. So like front... da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. Front door. This concrete is so light it would float. Yes. Yeah, this is essentially aerogel, but nowhere near as durable. <laughs> 400 square foot, 1.5 bedrooms, YMC adjacent, no bathroom. <laughs> That's his house. Shack behind... <laughs> Shack behind Walmart. Smells of fried chicken. Carpet full of ants. $400,000. <laughs>
Why isn't Depp filling the empty bags with dirt to increase the home defense rating? See, good idea. Yeah, it, Will says it didn't say it was mid. It said it was good enough, like the Warhammer. Good enough is good enough, which is true. The Warhammer is a good enough mech. It's not that expensive. It does its job. It does it okay. It does it okay on a very broad scale. It's affordably good enough. All right, no fines. Is it the best mech ever? No, but everyone uses it. I put no fines up. That's a trowel, right? So Load1 says that there's places like Harvey's and Canadian A&W, which is a separate company from American A&W, and is really good. Okay. Wouldn't surprise me. I mean, when you're talking mass burger joints, they're all a mix, because there's that one McDonald's that is probably god tier. It's probably in Japan, right? But the rest of them are going to be not great. You're going to be like, it's McDonald's. All right. More no fines. Oh, well, American a and is like a shitball brand. It is, it is like airport tier in terms of burger. You're like, is this... Is, it's something you find at an airport that's like $12. And you're like, I've heard of that before. They used to be much better. I'm I will sure. say that. When I was a kid, so and I. I used was... to be much better as well. <laughs> Age does that. French McDonald's have a McWine? I believe that. A German McDonald's has McBeer. Yeah, see, A&W never recovered from being bought by young brands. You know, I made that joke on the podcast that Ruth Chris was the Olive Garden of steakhouses. And a week after that, Ruth Chris got bought by Darden Restaurants, which owns Olive Garden. <laughs> so I want to say that I predicted the future. Maybe. I don't know. It's possible. All right. We're just making progressively weaker no finds mix as we plaster up these walls. Guys, we've almost got a functioning house here. This is nowhere near a functioning house. This is nowhere near a functioning... Like, what the fuck are you smoking? <laughs> I wonder You're if I like can do a skim there. coat on that uh, concrete floor I busted up. Cover up the cracks. Yeah, let's just uh, put, a, put some glitter and some flake in this concrete and no one will know. You, you laugh, Tex. I have you laugh. to. I have to. Otherwise, I'd be in tears. Like, what well, those two are not mutually exclusive. But look at it from the road. That looks like a fucking house, right? It is a house-shaped object, yes. I'd say, where's the rest of it? <laughs> if I saw that house, I'd say, what happened to the rest of it? And then I, I would see the pile of things <laughs> in the frame wedged in the ground. Right? Yeah. You would see those things. They are there. They are there. They are indeed there. Now, they didn't just sneak in there. What happened? What you happened know, there? I lived in a house probably about that size when I was uh, very young. It was a prefab house. Prefabs, let's be fair, prefabs can actually be pretty nice. That one was not very nice. Oh, I, it, reasonable. Reasonable. But yes, they um, can be. Oh, I... Because um, that I was some, like a post-World War II prefab. Yeah, I saw a... Um, I saw a prefab house once that was uh, like one of those newer trailers. I'd say about mm -hmm. four years ago. 
And I couldn't tell it was prefabricated. I was like, the fuck is this? This is an interesting house. And they're like, oh, it's a trailer home. And I was like, how? Wasn't Depp going to go to jail? Uh, I paid off my fine with community service. With community service. Yeah. Yeah. Just kept mashing that button. <laughs> Modern trailer homes are pretty nice. Um, no, this was the only non-trailer in the trailer park. The one, the one that I saw that was also really nice are those converted uh, Connex boxes, where they take an old Connex box and rebuild the inside, and they're about like sixty grand or whatever. And the inside of it looks like a cyberpunk apartment. <clears throat> it is a cargo container, though, so you have to worry about like someone coming up and stealing, stealing it. But if yeah. if I ever want to go off the grid and tell everyone to fuck it you know that's where i will be i will live cargonia as a not just a meme but a dream i i lived in a cargo container for a while uh it really sucked because that wasn't that was literally just a cargo container it was expandable housing for uh the ace well, yeah, I'm talking about like yeah, a you're talking about yeah, one of the custom container. ones. Those are cool. I've seen several of those actually turn out really nice. And I also saw one guy who just buried one in the yard because he was worried about nukes. That was less yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, that was probably a lot less nice. It was probably full of spiders. I've got to go buy beer to make piss creep. Also, That's did true. you see my negative? He, I don't think Dual Wilder saw my uh, Newtonian concrete. Yeah, Newtonian concrete is a problem. Non-Newtonian concrete. I was really not happy to see that. I would say that I I don't want to say I was not delighted. I was disturbed, you know. (laughs) Give me a landlord super. And just chug that right down. Give me who's another. this guy who? Yeah, who's this guy who drinks forty beers? No, he's that poor disabled man. He almost went to jail once for cleaning dishes and stealing building supplies. He occasionally stops the road up. (laughs) With building supplies. (laughs) Give me 40 beers. Go ahead and stash that in my pouch. I wish there was a button that you could... (laughs) I have to do the same again. (laughs) Give that right back to you, man. Hold on. Let me get some Here. chips. No, go home and have a wash. I can fix it. Go home and have a wash. Oh, time to have some smokes if you can see them. <laughs> there we go. Can't smoke a cigarette. Another? Fly. Yes, please. I smoke my flies away, ma'am. That sounds horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, apologies. I was aiming for the table. <laughs> yeah, those look good. Come on, give them to me. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Time for more. Yes. I, this is just not right. All right. One for the road. uh, One for the road, of course. Hold on. I need to crouch. Set it there. Are there just no open container laws in England? Are you just allowed? Mm. Can English people weigh in on this? I don't know. I don't know. 
I've seen plenty of fucking drunk people in, just wandering in England, so... Clearly they, that's... they don't have the same public drunkenness statutes that we do. Yeah, because in America, you get drunk in public, they will fuck you up. Depending on the city, yes. Well, yeah, here, I, need to... I need there, yeah. If it's New Orleans, they won't. Well, fair, yeah. I was in New Orleans once, and there was a guy selling saltwater taffy from a cart, <laughs> and he and the horse were equally piss-ass drunk on white rum. I was he wondering why it was saying was... my bladder was fine. It's because I've been pissing myself. <laughs> oh, all right. All right, it's a bucket. Oh, God. <laughs> So you've just there been constantly pissing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> want, <laughs> want some yellow no fights? I need to fill up this cement mixer. It's the entire reason this I is... went for that. Oh my god. How many buckets I'm still can you going. <laughs> this is amazing. I think I'm also missing the bucket a lot, because it looks like the snow's dirty. Okay, I think that's everything. Better, better mix that up. <laughs> you can't even read. Okay, well, I just love how your character's been pissing the whole time. I pissed, I pissed twenty-five gallons in this bucket. You pissed 25 gallons? <laughs> Good God. There's probably a letter from Guinness in there. Congratulations. You produced the most piss. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look, look at all the missing that I did. Got to melt that snow. I did. I can't tell if I'm still drunk or if this is what a hangover looks like in this game. I think you're massively hungover. <laughs> Alright. The no finds of many colors have arrived. I hate this. Ugh, it just turned that one brown. <laughs> well, yeah, it's all dirty piss water. <laughs> I mean, that one was full up of clean, and I just did one addition to the very top, and it browned it. Ugh. People get into the house and they're like, why does everything smell like ammonia? <laughs> I don't know if this would smell like ammonia or just fucking like stale beer. I mean, there's no way I wasn't pissing pure alcohol. Yeah, Will says, I don't think this is what they meant by brownstone. <laughs> you know the fucked up thing? What? It's still not as dark as the stuff that was already on the house. Makes you wonder what was the previous owner was like, right? It does. It really does. Previous owner being apparently my uncle. You need to make that money. You need to rent <laughs> this house now. I do. I got I got a five grand mortgage. Should be good enough. Nope, nothing left in the tank. Wait, concrete with negative strength? Yes, Will. You, yes. You made a yes. Did I did you miss that? Yeah, walk him through that again, just so you can see how awful our concrete is. Hold on, I gotta I gotta clean myself off from having pissed myself oh, yes. last night. Scare the flies away. 
All right, it'll work with the bucket in my hand, I believe. No, the bucket's not the right kind of tool, so shovel. Okay, so up here, this is what their concrete looks like. Now, come on, show me. Does it have to be the sledge, then? I think it has to be the sledge so you can see what you're swinging into. Okay, fine. Yeah, there we go. So 2,100 PSI is what their best concrete on the property was. Uh, they've also got an 1,800. They've got an 800 patch, 1,800, right? So I poured this. This was my first concrete. It was 97 PSI. Uh, and then this was 245, which was my first pour. I was doing the adding water to to make it you know stretch it uh and then this one is negative 201 psi and this one is negative 324 psi and this one is negative 376 psi i'll tell you what we'll uh we'll add whatever i've got left from the no finds mix we'll add sand to and we'll uh we'll pour a test negative to uh, see what happens when you sledge a negative. Oh, God. Gotta mix a mixing stick. <laughs> I, this whole house is gonna reek. <laughs> Only for a little while. You know, that smell will eventually fade out. But whoever lives here is going to get real, real used to uh, using candles. God. Is that everything? And unless I want to replace these with exterior walls and just no finds them. I've got the bricks and shit to do it. I gotta figure out why it won't let me put that corner back. You'll figure it out, I'm sure. That or it'll be like a medieval house where there's just a hole in the roof where the smoke goes out. It's ventilation. Mercury Alpha says, I can tell you now, piss-soaked sheetrock will smell for at least five years. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. Sheetrock? Fuck that. Uh, but concrete. Concrete's its own animal. Right? Yeah, not a good one, uh, in your hands, that is. Uh, what am I doing here? There we go. This whole house is just gonna reek. <laughs> You're telling me you don't, you don't think they will appreciate the, uh, pissy no fines mortar mix? The pissy no fines. That sounds like somebody, like a really bad role-playing game character. Who are you? Oh, no one. I'm just pissy no fines. <laughs> wizard. <laughs> I'm a wizard. My name is pissy no fines the wizard. Get it, wizard? Yes. Yes, I got it. I'll be here all week. Why is it that not letting like me do some of these, but it is letting me do others? I don't know what you've done to this house. I cannot explain it. I don't think the game dev could explain it. Well, I'm, I'm filling in. I'm filling in. No, you're not. You're just breaking things. It's okay. We've all seen you do it, but you can't act like you've done it. Oh, no I'm out of mortar. Here. That's why. Ah. Thank God. Well, now, how much... Got a lot of no finds left. I guess I better make some concrete. Oh my god. <laughs> That's my closest bag of sand. That's cement. Now I'm trapped. I'm trapped by my own pile of bullshit. Okay. Sand. Sand? Yep. There we go. Add some sand in. Gotta have some of that sand. 
This house was built by none other than Pissy No Finds himself. <laughs> oh my god. They're calling it Negacrete. <laughs> Negacrete. It's like something a supervillain would make. Actually, that says 560 PSI, so that's going to be fairly effective concrete. So let's let's see what happens. Oh, it just immediately smashes. Nice. Okay. You drop your groceries on it and it explodes. Yeah, so nothing nothing all that crazy really. I was hoping I was hoping for a game crash or something, you know. <laughs> it just uninstalls it. <laughs> it uninstalls itself. Yeah, good lord. I hate this place. It's it's just <laughs> not good. You don't like it? I mean, this is a house that is something like a DM would design in a Delta Green game, right? Every little thing is off, wrong, it's hyper geometry. It's evil. I don't know. I it's evil I was doing in every okay. way that can be. You thought you were doing okay. Yeah, I didn't think it was all that bad. You know, I ain't going to say anything. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and stew like your future tenants. No, they're not going to stew. They're going to they're going to smoke in that miasma coming off the concrete. They're going to need to smoke to cover up the stink. They're going to be like, what is that smell? Don't worry. It's hey, the house. You know, it smells worse than piss. Piss and Febreze. <laughs> why uh, this house is a house of evil <laughs> Depp laughing hysterically as the house the house of evil oh there we go I added some actual cement to that one Holy shit, it's got 276 PSI and no piss. <laughs> and no piss. The <laughs> fateful words, and no piss. No piss. No piss. How we even jamming that into the ground. We get, like, an email from the dev, and they're like, please stop playing my game. <laughs> I, probably. Like, I, I would be I'm... alarmed. And I climb up this, this wall frame. Just clambering up wall frames, making concrete out of piss. Yeah, the dev developed that system. It was like, ha ha, <laughs> funny, who would do this? And we're like, we should make a house of piss. No, I need it. I need it right here. AA Insanity says, Depp is always funny to me. His Creek character in your Magic Shadow Mundanus is my favorite character. Aww. Thank you. Well, I, uh, I was just doing the dumbest thing I could. It seemed like a good idea at the time. That worked. I mean, it's not It's not wrong. It it fits the setting. It does. It's as wacky as it's as wacky as the rest of it. There's a damaged roof panel there. How did that happen? Uh, I don't know. I bet I hit that it with can... one of the concrete stakes. You probably did. You need to get more tar paper roof. I didn't tar paper this. Oh, you're right. Need to get some more of them roof boards. I got plenty of roof boards. In a pile, right here. Ah, yes. The pile. Guys, we're getting dangerously close to, like, windows and doors. This is... You know, we've watched this house slowly... Slowly take come place. together. Slowly come together. How much money do I have? You got 35 pounds? I bet I can afford a door. Front door. 
No, nine let's... pounds. Oh, you're gonna get something fancy. I'm gonna get something fancy. How fancy? I like this one. And we are going to make it. Ooh, we could do natural oak. Oh, natural oak? Yeah, I'm going to do the red, though, because traditionally you buy a red door when you pay off a house. Which I have not done. Do I need a door frame that... as well? Probably. For the door to go in? I'm presuming. And we're going to make that... Ooh, yeah, black. Yeah, there we go. All right, we'll we'll get this front door on. Who's who set these widths? Is that a tall window or a medium window? How do I measure the window? All right, we're we're gonna wait for the next trip on the window because I don't have enough money to uh, to guess. Yeah, don't guess. Just just put the window in, concrete it in. No, but like, how do I know what size this is? That's a fair point. I assume that's tall, not medium. However, Mr. Train wants to remind you that there is seven minutes left. Yes. Do I have? No, I don't. Hi, Mr. Train. Oh, he's here. So he with is. your parts. It appears this door came in a frame. Well, you have a spare frame. I do. You could double frame that door. No, nope. we're doing we're doing just a frame into the uh, into the kitchen or the living room. Do we want to open frame this this plan? I, it, you know what? I'm gonna let you do what you want to do. I'm not going to in any way. In Look at that. Any way. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Is that on backwards? That is on backwards. Beautiful. Ready to move in. Look at that. It won't close. I don't know why. Oh, nails. Gotta nail it in. No, I've got a screw it in? I have a screwdriver? I have a screwdriver. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. You just call it an open floor plan and an open framing plan. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? I don't know. They're all... I'd say use a hammer. I tried, it didn't do anything. God, I've got to, got to sleep now. You're very sleepy. I'm all very sleepy. Work. How much time do we have left? It's all that hard oh work. Oh my God, where did he go? What? He's out of the truck. He's not in the truck. Where is he? Uh, what? That's, oh my God, I'm scared now. Where is he? Where did he the go? The truck is off and he's not in it. What the fuck? Off to the wheels moving. Very, very slightly. It is rolling. Okay. Now this has become a horror game. Okay, I'm he's gonna... On... He's not in my camper, is he? No, please not. Open all the doors and make sure. Okay. Is he in the fridge? No. Oven? Is that motherfucker in the fridge? No? Oh, dude, okay. I could take these out of my camper and put them in the in the house. All right, that is where we're going to end it. <laughs> He's in the rafters. Oh, God, I'm really scared. All right, thank you for joining us. We've got Cooking on the Rim coming up, Mr. Quish. Uh, and we'll be back with this probably in two more weeks. We're going to finish this fucking house one way or another. 
I don't like how you said that. We're going to finish this house one way or another. So, you all have an excellent night. Stay safe if you're going to work or whatever. And we'll catch you later. Stay safe, be well, and don't be like us. Johnson. Oh, I flipped it. Oh, God. <laughs> they are trapped by this system. Oh, this Jesus this is peak theme park. They can't leave. <laughs>